Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool currently being used by more than 20,000 aspirants. Let's see if you can answer this important question. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch the full video. Beginning with urea formation. On ingestion of proteins in our daily diet, these proteins get converted into amino acids. These amino acids undergo deamination and form keto acids. So the proteins break down and form simpler units known as amino acids. And these amino acids, by undergoing deamination, form keto acids. Deamination means the removal of Ammonia. These keto acids enter the Krebs cycle and they form energy in the form of ATP. And carbon dioxide is liberated through a process known as decarboxylation. And this ammonia and carbon dioxide along with the energy further forms urea. Step 1. Formation of carbamoyl phosphate. Condensation of carbon dioxide, ammonia and ATP occurs. This forms and forms carbamoyl phosphate. This condensation of carbon dioxide and ammonia in the presence of ATP occurs in the presence of the enzyme carbamyl phosphate synthase 1. This entire reaction occurs in liver mitochondria. This reaction is the rate limiting reaction of urea cycle. It is allosterically activated by the presence of N-acetylglutamate. This N-acetylglutamate enhances the affinity of the enzyme carbamyl phosphate synthase 1 for the ATP molecule. So it enhances the affinity of CPS1 that is carbamyl phosphate synthase 1 enzyme for the ATP molecule. So step 1 is the formation of carbamyl phosphate. So the product formed by the condensation of carbon dioxide and ammonia in presence of ATP and in presence of the enzyme carbamyl phosphate synthase 1, carbamyl phosphate is formed. And this N-acetylglutamate enhances the affinity of this enzyme carbamyl phosphate synthase 1 for the ATP molecule. Step 2. Synthesis of L-citrulline. In this step, the carbamyl phosphate, which was produced in the previous step, combines with ornithine in the presence of the enzyme ornithine transcarbamylase and releases one inorganic phosphate and L-citrulline. So this reaction is catalyzed in mitochondria by the enzyme L-ornithine transcarbamylase enzyme, also known as OTC, ornithine transcarbamylase. While this reaction occurs in the mitochondrial matrix, the formation of ornithin and the subsequent reaction occur in the liver cell cytosol. So, step 2, which includes the synthesis of L-citrulline, the carbamyl phosphate combines with ornithin in the presence of enzyme ornithin transcarbamylase and forms L-citrulline. This reaction occurs in the mitochondrial matrix whereas the formation of ornithin occurs in the liver cell cytosol. Step 3. Conversion of L-citrulline to arginosuccinate. In this reaction, L-citrulline combines with L-aspartate in the presence of enzyme arginosuccinic acid synthase to form arginosuccinate. In this reaction, L-citrulline combines with L-aspartate. This reaction occurs in presence of magnesium ions and ATP. The magnesium ions in ATP gets converted into AMP that is monophosphate and magnesium ions and pyrophosphate. Catalyzed by the enzyme arginosuccinic acid synthase. This reaction requires ATP which gets converted later into AMP and Mg plus 2 pyrophosphate. Step 4. Cleavage of arginosuccinate. This reaction is catalyzed by 
by the enzyme arginosuccinase. So this enzyme arginosuccinase cleaves the arginosuccinate to form two products. One is fumarate and the other one is L-arginine. L-arginine further continues ahead to form urea whereas fumarate remains as a byproduct. So the step 4 is cleavage of arginosuccinate in presence of enzyme arginosuccinase. It forms two products that is fumarate and L-arginine. Step 5. Cleavage of arginine releasing urea and reforming ornithin. L-arginine is broken down by the addition of water to produce urea and L-ornithin. In presence of enzyme, L-arginine is broken down by the addition of water in presence of enzyme arginase to produce urea and L-ornithin. L-arginine on addition of water gets broken down and produces L-ornithin and urea. The L-ornithin so formed then re-enters mitochondria to run another urea cycle. This reaction is catalyzed by, by the enzyme arginase. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme arginase and hence the cycle is complete. This cycle is referred as krebs henslate cycle. This cycle is named after the name of its discoverers. Thus most of the urea is produced in liver which is a very important point. So most of the urea is produced in liver. The entire process is divided into two parts. One chemical part which takes place in liver and the mechanical part which takes place in kidney. The chemical part of excretion is mainly concerned with formation of urea from ammonia. Hence it includes urea cycle also known as ornithin cycle also known as krebs henslate cycle. And the mechanical part of excretion mainly involves the process of filtration urine in three different stages. This mechanical part of excretion occurs in kidneys whereas chemical part of excretion occurs in liver. Here is a pictorial representation of ornithin cycle also known as urea cycle or krebs henslet cycle. Starting with step 1 that is formation of carbamyl phosphate. The ammonia, carbon dioxide and ATP combine to form carbamyl phosphate. This carbamyl phosphate combines with ornithin to form citrulline. So second step is the synthesis of citrulline. Coming to the third step that is conversion of citrulline to arginosuccinate. This arginosuccinate further cleaves to form arginine and fumarate. This arginine in the presence of the enzyme arginase and on addition of water forms urea and ornithine. This ornithine then re-enters the mitochondria to run another urea cycle and the urea is excreted out. So the major components of ornithine cycle are ornithine, citrulline and arginine. Chemical part of excretion. It mainly involves the formation of urea from ammonia. This ammonia is the initial nitrogenous waste product of metabolism. This part occurs in liver as a cyclic chain of reaction. Also called as urea cycle, ornithin cycle or krebs henslet cycle. The steps of this cycle are ornithin which is an amino acid derivative combines with carbamyl phosphate formed from one mole ammonia, carbon dioxide and ATP to form citrulline. So ornithine combines with carbamyl phosphate formed from one mole of ammonia, carbon dioxide and ATP to form citrulline. Another molecule of NH2 or aspartate is added to citrulline to form arginine. Lastly, arginine is hydrolyzed by the enzyme arginase into urea and ornithin. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share icons to enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JE and NEAT prep tools 
contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 solved examples. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.